The symbolic handing over of the laptops between the Minister of Finance, Dr. Ashni Singh, and the Chinese ambassador. In total, the 28,000 laptops are valued at 8 million U.S. dollars, none of which the Guyana government has to pay back. The finance minister was loud in praise for the Chinese initiative. And I want to assure you, Ambassador, and through you assure your government that the government and people of Guyana are deeply appreciative of the support that has been provided to us over the years by China. We would like you to convey this message uh, clearly and resoundingly. We believe that there are many future opportunities for even closer collaboration and closer cooperation. And we wish to assure you that we remain available and indeed committed to working with you in identifying and in realizing every such opportunity. Some 27,000 laptops have already been handed over to poor Guyanese families who cannot afford one of their own. At least, that's the aim of the initiative. Some 1.8 billion of taxpayers' money has been spent to buy the first set of laptops. But the government has been arguing that with a budget cut last year, it had to find other means to fund the program. So the big question now is, if a previous budget catered for all the laptops distributed so far, where has the government been taking money out of and to fund what over the past year or so? Meanwhile, the Chinese ambassador spent most of his time at today's ceremony pleading with the media to show positive aspects of Guyana-China relations. This after Chinese companies have been coming in for criticism of late, with the nastiest scandal being Shanghai Construction Limited, which demanded to hire an all-Chinese workforce to build a Marriott Hotel, a request that the Guyana government acceded to. So I hope that uh, the, the media, local media will uh, give more report for the uh, mutual cooperation between two countries. Chinese appliances manufacturer Hire had received a U.S. $7.6 million contract to supply the netbooks for the first phase of the One Laptop Per Family project. The project intends to hand out a total of 90,000 laptops.